side if you have an existing uh, user on the different side. In other words, your user who had a previous account comes back and just has Facebook functionality, and they click on Facebook Connect, and I believe you had a deprecated module that was uh, attempting to find them. There's something called register users, register which tries to find them in which advance. Which which does it, yeah, in, in advance, yeah. Um, and and the, other, the, the other option is to basically not create it automatically, Query the user as to what they and query the user as to which is one of the, in my opinion, the easy features that the Facebook So you're saying that it does it in a nice way. Yeah, when we spoke by a tradition, yeah. Yeah. Like, I because this is a, a request that's come up a few times, and I'd love to have support for it. You know, I mean, I I'm, I'm, I'm happy to plug it in or whatever. I just have a little hard oh, were we the ones that exchange on IRC? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 cool, cool. Yeah, so <laughs> I know, right? That's, no, no, that's how it is. <laughs> um, but, uh, I would like to see that too, because it's a, it, it would be nice if it just popped up right away and it was the first thing that somebody had to do. There's some tricky gotchas with knowing for sure that somebody's just showed up on your site. And, and there's some bugs with it, because one of the, if you go take a look at the issue here on the other module, it's got weird bugs like, if you log in and then you switch users, and you might end up with the wrong user because they, it, there are bugs with figuring it out. Right. It's not, it's not easy. <coughs> Unreliable HTTP protocol stuff going on. That, you know, you may or may not get a call back from Facebook, and it's uh, yeah, it's not. The one is great when you when you look at the issue page and you see something scary like logging in as the wrong user, and you're like, so who used this module? Like, <laughs> <laughs> So you know that that specific blocker, like one of the things I mentioned as I talk is that I don't want to reinvent any of the games. And Facebook and you, Drupal already has a, an account registration form and an account login form. Sure. So it's like what what really needs to be in place there? Like I, I don't want to make a new form. Can't you just like add a submission to validation function to the existing Drupal registration form that shows present uh, Facebook Connect person? You don't need to re implement the wheel. It's just like Google's own service does. I'm not trying to. Uh, basically, you can. Uh, well, you, you add, I don't know what you add a validation. You add a validation to the submission. So you make you 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 don't allow them to register unless they're already Facebook. No, you have, you have to go core alter, right? Yeah. You go in and you add a custom validation, a custom submit function, okay? So that when the regular user registration function, our registration form is called, this and then you do it during uh, the presentation of the form as well to add particular features like import my. I agree with the Facebook Connect services or whatever. You actually have to have for a checkbox. I don't know if you have to have it. But well, that's a cool idea. And then, and then, then you, and unfortunately, the Facebook Connect module doesn't do this. And this is, I started patching it. You did the same thing. I started patching it so that it would do this because I ran into problems with a crappy ass form and had to re theme the whole thing, you know? Because <laughs> they didn't do it the right way. I mean, they just didn't know what they were doing. So, so I mean, we did that. certain things really well, and there's yeah. other things that it was like, can we switch? Can Welcome we switch? to open source. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, I, what, I agree. We don't want to reinvent the registration process. And then, unfortunately, I wouldn't mind. There's a, there's already a module in the contrib there called FD permission, which is an extended permission. I saw it. Yeah. Thing. So so that has a couple ways to prompt people for permissions, but it's really in its infancy. And and adding to the registration form would be a great one. Right now, it adds somewhere in the user edit. Yeah. Is there any way tab or something? Yeah. Is there any way then to replace that horrible you know email that comes over from from Facebook with their actual email to prompt them to enter? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that's you, the extended permissions module. You can ask for email as part of the extended. Okay. But but even if you ask for an extended for the email extended permission <coughs> specifically, they can choose whether to give you a clean one or the proxy email, which is the long one. Yeah. Okay. Then we have some more blocks added in the uh, the theme. Like for example, if the user wants to add the 